What's good, y'all? It's Main Boxing Biker. Subscribe to the channel so you can get the latest news and the hottest topics. Today, the topic is boxing, man. We had a great weekend of fights, man. I missed the fights because I had to hang out with, you know, with one of my homies for, for the birthday and all that. But uh, I just rewatched the fights, man. So I hope y'all watched it live. And I hope y'all uh, was on the commentary in the block fam, Marlo's Corner, man. Marlo's Corner where we call every fight, man. I'd be up there, too. But uh, talking about these fights, though. Um, the uh, Hooker versus Ramirez fight, man. A lot of people had Hooker winning the fight. I had it where, uh, you know, as I was discussing with the homies, I was like, you know, Ramirez is very strong. He's very aggressive, and he can drag Hooker into a dog fight. Even though Hooker might be the better outboxer, especially on the outside, and he's a harder puncher from what we, you know, we we assume due to the knockouts and stuff like that. But I, always, I just felt like he wasn't physically strong enough. There's a lot of fighters that got a big pop and a punch, but the overall body, the legs and everything is not strong enough where the man is bullying you and walking you down and smothering you and you can't really push him off so you can get your long-range shots. Hooker had a ridiculously, uh, a ridiculously large um, uh, reach advantage. He had a large reach, a big reach advantage. And he just couldn't keep Ramirez off of him, man. Ramirez was pinning him up on the ropes. And Hooker, one thing I don't like that I saw from Hooker early is like his corner was telling him what to do. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I got it. I've got... seen that before. <laughs> I've seen that in AB. You feel me? I've seen that before. you got to listen to your corner and calm down. Hooker fought very... He fought this fight, man. He was very emotional throughout the fight to the point where his corner was telling him control your emotion. He was angry, especially with the fact that uh, even though... I did feel like Hooker was also fighting the referee a little bit due to the fact that, you know, the ref was, the, that was the, the dude, uh, Ramirez stepped on his feet and, you know, there was, the ref clearly didn't see that. And in boxing, I think we need to change something where the replay matters because now you got this fighter, it, if he lost the round, then he could have been down two points in the round due to the fact that the ref made a bad call on uh on a, on a knockdown, which wasn't a knockdown, it was clearly dude stepping on his feet. Even the commentators were saying dude stepped on his feet. So I think sometimes a ref might need a second opinion, especially the fact that these refs be old as fuck. Some of them was old as shit, and you only got two eyes. You can't see from every fucking angle. So if you're, if you're not looking at, the, say you're looking at the fighter's heads and shit like that, or the upper torso, you might miss the other fighter stepping on the other fighter's feet. Even if a punch is thrown, the punch might have been blocked, but the fact that he's stepping on his feet, the, the, it might make the um, the fighter go down, so I think they need to you know at least implement a replay during the round or something, so you can like you know give the corner like all right cool, give the corner the the heads up like all right cool, we reverse that. It wasn't really a knockdown because then now Hooker came in already feeling down, so he had to fight a certain type of fight. Granted, the knockout probably still would have happened because I had Ramirez winning the fight anyway. You know, Ramirez is a swarm. He gets on the inside and he. He, he just was too much, he was too strong. He was too strong to, and Hooker couldn't keep him off of him. Even if Hooker was landing the good shots, hurting him, the man just kept his chin tucked in his chest, and he walked, he walked down uh, Hooker, man, walked him down to the ropes, and Hooker need to learn how to pivot or slide and get your man off, get off the ropes, bro. His back was on the ropes, and he kept getting hurt when his back is on the ropes. He kept saying no and shit like that, but he was getting hurt. So I think, I think he could come back, man. I don't think this is the end of him. He did get rocked. I think... Even though he's at, uh, I think he's a little frail, man. I think he's a little frail for that division. He might need to step up to the next division because, yeah, he got the power and shit like that. But when a fighter decides to get to his chest and walk him down, that's going to be a problem. He ain't going to be strong enough. His legs, his, his legs, his back, all that ain't strong enough to keep these fighters off of him. You feel me? So he might have to think about moving up or something. Uh, next, uh, we had the Tevin Farmer. Tevin Farmer did his thing. You know, he won the fight. You know, we went the whole twelve, but he did his thing. He got a win, and uh, you know, Tank, 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 what that? Tevin Farmer wanted it for a long time. Tevin Farmer was calling Tank out. Tank was ignoring him. They both got their wins tonight, so uh, you know, it's time to make it happen. And I'm happy that Tank called him out during the end of the fight. I mean, it wasn't disrespectful, which I respect that. Tank respectfully called the man out. Said, "Yeah, I want Tevin next." You know, this is in a fight people didn't want to see for see for a while. I want Tevin next, and I think that's a great matchup, man. Uh, I hope they can make that fight, you know. But God damn, bro, Tank did his thing, man. I love this. Yo, I love Tank walk down game. I'm gonna call it that for this walk down game is official. 
When he decided to walk that man down, man, he was right in front of boy, and boy can't hit him, man. The, that walk down game is official, man. And when, you know, Tank bullied him in there. After he, you know, when dude, when he clinched Tank, and this, this is something we got to talk about because this, this really pissed me off. He tried to clinch Tank. Tank maneuvered out the clinch and landed a left hook. That that rocked homie. But boy threw a punch at the same time too, like a little jab. He jabbed Tank on, on the way out of the clinch and Tank, but Tank threw the powerful left hook and rocked him. And then Tank commenced to keep walking him down, pinned him up against the ropes and beat him, beat him till his neck was was on sloppy Joe type of status. And uh you know, Paulie was hating, yo. Paulie Malinaje is a hater, bro. Holy shit. Son, I'm from New York, and I'm mad that this nigga from New York, he's such a hater, man. I see why niggas used to beat him up in the past. Like, Paulie's a hater, son. God damn. That's the type of dude you just run him up out the hood, man. Like, hating ass dude. He's sitting there talking about, oh, he felt the stoppage was not, it was too soon. What do you want this man to die, son? Didn't we see two already? What else you want, Paulie? What else you want? We saw two guys died from boxing this weekend man last weekend and shit like that and paulie is you know rp to them man and paulie sitting here saying that he felt the ref stopped the fight too soon like he think he could have recovered he was look he tried to come back no he didn't try to come back he fell against the ref when the ref jumped in he was falling forward his his head was on spaghetti status his like his neck looked like a like a, a fucking spaghetti he was done he was done no more we saw what we saw man it was over and you sitting there hating, man. Paulie, you got to stop. You got to stop it, bro. You got to stop hating. You was trying to find every reason to justify that was an early stoppage? Holy shit. Paulie, you crazy, man. You crazy. Anyways, and now at the end of the fight, when we got, you know, Jim Gray giving his, uh, doing his uh, post-fight interview. Jim Gray is a hater too, son. I'm so tired of these old white niggas hating on these black fighters, bro. This shit is annoying, son. And, and yeah, we going there, man. Shit. Because this shit is always happening, bro. We be trying, like, shit. Black people be trying to be fair and shit. And then you got these old white niggas be hating, son. They always got everything negative to say about the black fighters. Where's that type of same smoke when Lomachenko fighting? Why y'all know, Why y'all don't be talking shit when y'all interview Lomachenko after the fight? This man gonna try to say that Tank snuck, uh, uh, Tank snuck, uh, this boy, man. And trying to say that Tank snuck him, uh, in a bad way where it's like, Oh, we saw your mentor, you know, Floyd Mayweather do it in the past. And, you know, we just want to know if, like, you know, you know, why'd you do it type of shit like that, man. That was fear. The ref was not even breaking him. The ref didn't break him. Tank, Tank muscled out that clinch and rocked the boy. Tank muscled out that clinch. You can muscle out of a clinch. Not because a man clinched you means stop fighting and wait for the ref. Nah. You can muscle out of it if you don't want to be clinched. So what are you talking about, Jim Gray? Stop the hating. Tank didn't do anything illegal, man. The man did everything right, man. Stop stop hating, bro. Stop hating. Y'all just don't want to see the man flourish. It's probably because he's on the Mayweather and shit like that. But Mayweather better peep game and realize what the fuck is happening. These dudes is hating. They they, they, they hate it on you. They, they talk shit after you. Yo, every post-fight interview i ever seen where the shit blew up. Where it was some disrespectful shit done by the fucking post-fight interviewer. It just happened to always be... To the black fighter tell me what y'all think about that we saw it happen with roy jones numerous times i saw it happen to james tony numerous times to the point where james tony used to just cuss him out and we seen it happen to floyd mayweather numerous times and now this fuck boy jim gray trying to put you know throw it to tank because now tank is trying to be a good guy and shit like that it's like they want to force the black guy to be the bad guy he just gotta be the villain role all the fucking time to make these fucking white boys happy yeah, we going there, man. Y'all niggas be pissing me off. Stop the hating, man. Shit. Damn. Anyways, I'm out. Main boxing biker.